All right, guys, let's get to talking about our favorite stuff, horror, and why it was great and why it's no longer great anymore. It is confusing for some people to understand why horror is such a popular genre. Well, let me tell you, there ain't anything like watching a classic piece of horror. Am I right, guys? That's something we can all agree on, right? There's nothing like being introduced to a world where werewolves and vampires roam the cemeteries at night and undead slasher villains await at the bottom of a lake to kill unsuspecting counselors. I get it. It's not everyone's tea, but it's our cup of tea. So deal with it. Guys, 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 we gotta get serious. Psychologists actually believe that there's a few reasons why horror is the best genre ever. Okay, maybe they don't say that. Maybe I'm just saying that. But regardless, it is the best genre ever. It activates positive and negative stimulations in the brain at the same time, which is pretty damn cool. Now, Chris, how does it do that? Well, let me tell you, silly. There are a few key components as to how this works, but essentially we, the audience, have to be aware that we are actually safe in order to enjoy it. They call this a protective frame, and without it, we only get scared without the enjoyment, without the fun. And so, because of this, I think we are open to a wider range of experiences and emotions while watching horror, making it the best genre ever. Horror's the best, bitch. Well, it was the best. Let's get into that. I essentially see horror as a dark fantasy. That's all horror is, really. I mean, you think about any fantasy story. Think about uh, Beauty and the Beast. Think about how Belle tries to change this, uh, this beast and make him more human. Well, what if the beast is actually becoming more and more animalistic? And he's basically a walking time bomb that the audience is aware of, but Belle has no clue. She thinks she's turning him more human, but we see that he's actually losing his grip on his humanity. And towards the end of the film, he ends up killing her and going to basically war with the townspeople. That's what horror is, right? That would be horror. The only way to really genuinely experience this is to create a world. Where is the world building? That is the crux of, I think, what's wrong with modern horror today. Modern horror has no world building, and they abandoned it, on I think, on purpose for the pursuit of the scariest film. But for me, these films come across as too serious and too melodramatic. People watch fantasy movies not to be reminded of their daily lives, but to escape from their daily lives. This is called escapism, the tendency to seek distraction and relief from unpleasant realities, especially by seeking entertainment or engaging in fantasy. Which brings me to another point, and a more serious point. You can have political and social commentary in your films, that's fine. However, the more you try to push your agenda, the more overt your agenda becomes, the less fun your film is going to be. People are not going to be enjoying themselves the same. No matter how virtuous the message, it's not the time or place if you want people to really enjoy your film. Look, I get it. World building is difficult. It takes skill, it takes talent, it takes time. I understand that. And really, it's a whole of a hell lot easier to just take from things that already exist. Which is why it seems like every single other week, we get a new announcement for yet again another sequel or reboot. How is it that just three decades ago, we had the renaissance of horror and we were blessed with a multitude of creative filmmaking while today we are just spoon-fed remakes and sequels by massive production companies like universal well the answer is obviously very simple familiarity sells why would you promote something that you don't know if it'll sell when you could be promoting something that you know will sell how many scream movies do we need how many jeepers creepers evil dead friday the 13th whatever how many of these movies do we need well, enough until the companies stop getting their money back from them. So, where do we go from here? Well, it's a tough path, but as a writer, I know where we can start. I think we just need to go back to basics. Focus on two boxes, checking off fun and checking off scary. If you're a horror writer, that is. Don't be worrying if there's enough melanin or estrogen on the screen at one time. George Romero said of hiring Dwayne Jones as Ben on Night of the Living Dead, Dwayne Jones is the best actor we met to play Ben. If there was a film with a black actor in it, it usually had a racial theme, like the Defiant Ones. Consciously, I resisted writing new dialogue because he happens to be black. 
We just shot the script. Perhaps Night of the Living Dead is the first film to have a black man playing the lead role regardless of rather than because of his race. Let's take the Romero route. I feel like a lot of writers and hiring directors are only filling positions because they need a diverse cast. And then they give them really cringy and divisive dialogue. Good characters are going to be good characters regardless of, not because of their race gender or sexuality. Create a world for people to look into, not reflect their own world back at them. That's what documentaries are for. That's why I don't think Jordan Peele is a good horror director. We already have to deal with the problems of our world when we leave the theater or put the book down. We don't want to be reminded of it every time we're trying to escape. And especially don't lecture us with your agenda. Jordan Peele said that he will never hire a white lead actor again because he's already seen that movie. Well, if Jordan Peele believes that having a specific racial profile as the lead role is what makes the movie, well, all I need to say about that is he's no George Romero. I want to see fun and creative works of horror again. And I think if we follow this basic step of going back to the beginning, I think we can really have a new renaissance in horror. Thank you guys for watching. If you agreed with what I said, don't forget to drop a thumbs up. It really makes me feel good if you do that. It really does. It makes my dad proud of me. That's something I've never heard before, so it really means a lot. No, but seriously. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you dislike the video, then just don't like it. And don't dislike it, because I already know you don't like it if you don't like it. So just give that thumbs up if you do like it. Please. It helps me a lot. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.